You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, on Alternative Talk, 1150 AM. Now, back to the show with local mortgage expert, Tina Mitchell. And you're listening to The Money Hour at 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, January 7th show. May your new year be filled with a abundance. And my goal is to help set you up in financial success and abundance through this show. You can also listen to my show podcast, Facebook premiere, or you can catch my show on my show YouTube channel. I am your host and local mortgage expert, Tina Mitchell. I'm here to help you build a strong financial blueprint one week and one show at a time. If you are hearing my show at a different time or day, you are listening to rebroadcast. I'm here to answer any questions or to connect you with the two guests that I have on the show today. You can reach out to the show to themoneyhour.com. And now in studio, I have Vera Brodsky of Cold War Banker Bain. Is this the time to buy a house? right here on 1150 AM KKNW. I'm uh, really excited, Vera, to have this conversation uh, with you because I know that people that are listening to the show right now, a lot of them uh, are asking that question. And so breaking this down and the opportunity uh, today, really excited. So my first question, what are your thoughts on interest rates and the impact on today's affordability? Yeah, well, Tina, you probably are the better expert on that. <laughs> when it comes to real estate to the interest rates. But what I can tell you is the market has really shifted, I would say about seven months ago when we started seeing the interest rate climb. And of course, a lot of buyers were afraid. They put a stop to looking at homes. They were just worried that they're going to be priced out of the market. Well, what I'm seeing from my side is actually the opposite, is that we are seeing more stable market. We are seeing more inventory. The buyers do not need to rush into a house and just put as much cash as possible. And they can actually get a better price now than they could a year ago. And now that you have an option of negotiating with the seller, you might be able to not only help with the closing costs, which means more cash in your pocket, but you can use some of the money instead of having a huge price reduction, you can actually buy down the interest rates, which we couldn't do over the last years because everyone was just rushing to buy a house and you didn't have an option of looking at any options um, for the buyers to get your payment down or lower down payment or less money to closing. So I feel that in today's market, the buyers are having a huge advantage. And yes, the interest rate is higher than it was six months ago, but the prices have gone down. And you can actually bring the interest rate down from what it is currently on the market. So you're basically getting a double benefit, which you couldn't have gotten six months ago. Absolutely. If you wait until interest rates go down, if they do, then we're going to be back in that buyer frenzy where you're competing with maybe 20 different offers. And if you're the one lucky one out of 20, you could be paying hundreds of thousands of dollars over asking price. Whereas what Vera is saying, if you take advantage right now, you can get into the market, not have to go through the buyer frenzy. And if interest rates go down, you can turn around and do a no closing cost refinance. And Vera also mentioned and critically important. Um, I can assist here as your local mortgage expert. Um, when you're talking with a mortgage expert, you want to make sure that you're looking at the difference between negotiating price versus getting costs towards buying your rate down. Just what Vera said, because you may be able to save $50, $60 a month for every $10,000 in negotiation versus hundreds of dollars a month by using that same $10,000 to buy down the interest rate. So really important that you look at the, uh, the numbers there uh, for sure. So Vera, how can you keep your payment low? Well, and I think that's what we just talked about is getting the interest rate down. And what I can tell you over the last six months, I was able to get multiple families into homes they couldn't get into a year ago. They just stopped looking because they could not afford the prices and they didn't have a lot of cash. So now with having the sellers pay for the closing costs, again, keep in mind, this is not every seller. Each yeah. situation is different. So we cannot say that a house that just came on the market or the house that's been sitting on the market, that it automatically assumption that the seller will give you a lot of money back. But 
at the same time, if the seller has the money, uh, has the house on the market, it means that they usually want to sell. And we can work together. Again, it's working together with the agent on the other side, working with the seller, working with the buyer, mm -hmm. making sure that we get the best scenario for all parties. Yeah. And as your representative, as your agent, my goal is to have you keep as much money as possible in your bank account because cash is key especially now cash loses money it loses value over time so the more money we have now in the bank the better yes. and of course keeping the payment down so again what that means is doing a buy down of the interest rate which has worked wonders for my clients I have to say that and I'm sure Tina will help you give you a few different scenarios there's a bunch of different ways to do buy down you can do it for the term of the loan before you refinance or you can do kind of a three to one buy down where you bring down the interest rate to for a specific amount of years. Um, so each situation is different and you should definitely talk to Tina about it. But I feel that in today's market, buyers have the upper hand and buyers should be looking and buyers should be buying because as Tina said, even if the interest rate is higher today, you have an option of getting a house at a lower price and refinancing two, three years from now, versus if you wait and the interest rate is down, you don't have the luxury of having a lower price. So you're back in 2020, 2021. Absolutely. And you can do a no closing cost refinance. So not have to pay costs. <laughs> if you choose to. Um, one of the wealthiest guys in the entire world, Warren Buffett says, buy when people are fearful and sell when people are greedy. So people are fearful now now is the time to take an opportunity. And as Vera said, this is why it's so critically important that you work um, with one of the best agents in the market. And best agent is based on what they're, what they're actually doing in volume. How many buyers and sellers are they helping? Um, because the negotiation absolutely, absolutely comes into play. Uh, Vera talked about not all properties are going to be giving you money because it might strategically be listed a little bit low. And so they're not going to negotiate, but you can increase the price that you're offering them and ask to get $10,000 to buy down that interest rate to percent for the first year, 1% for the second year, if you're confident that you're going to be able to do a refinance um, when rates go down. Or like Vera said, you can get a little life of the loan buy down. So just by increasing the purchase price to still be able to accommodate for that payment. So that's really what Vera is trying to communicate here is there's so many different creative ways. And it's important that you have a team working for you that can help um, navigate through that process. So you're not missing out on this opportunity because Warren Buffett would say, buy right now don't wait until we get back into a market that we just came out of. So uh, Vera, in today's market, are uh, your buyers able, about what are you seeing as far, and we've kind of been talking about this a little bit, but what are you seeing as far as um, your buyers being able to negotiate? And, and how are you helping buyers to be able to navigate through that process and have um, a higher level of success that maybe another agent that is not doing them out of business and have the expertise that you do? Yeah, so the success has been fantastic. Um, I would say that at this point, we were able to get every buyer who is saying, you know, we need to get into a house, we're able to get them into the house. Um, from this point of negotiation, of course, this is where my expertise come in. Um, I always build relationship with the agent on the other side. I talk to them. I try to understand the seller's position because as I do both buyer and seller, but since we're talking about this, um, the buyers um, coming into market right now, I'll kind of talk about that a little bit more than the seller's portion. Um, but when the buyer is coming in, what we're doing is we're trying to see what is the best case scenario, how we can work together, what is the best price we can negotiate with the seller. And as your agent, I'm going to fight until the end. If it's at 7 a.m. or at midnight, I've negotiated deals until 1 or 2 a.m. It just really depends on each situation. And I am here to make sure that you are happy at the end of the day. And I would say 70% of my business is repeat business from past clients is because of the negotiation and because of the, represent, the representation of my clients and making sure that they're happy. The first thing that I would suggest is before you go start looking at a house is talk to Tina and to make sure that you know your numbers because it is a numbers game. At the end of the day, you don't wanna look at a million dollar house if you can only afford 500,000. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest the first thing you do when you are thinking of buying a house before calling me, <laughs> I should be your second call. The first call should be to Tina is because when people call me and they say, hey, I want a specific house and specific 
specific location, I ask, what is your budget and have you spoken to a lender? Because doing the numbers on computer really doesn't give it justice. You need to talk to a professional. And Tina can give you different scenarios, different situations, what we can do, how we can make it work. And based on your budget, we can decide what's more important to you, the location, the house, the size, the age. So again, this market is fantastic for buyers. We will make sure you get the best house for your budget, but we need to make sure that we have the numbers. I would say this is number one. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you for the uh, for the shout out there, uh, Vera. Definitely the numbers are really important. And if you really can only afford a certain payment objective, there's a lot of ways to uh, craft a mortgage in order to help meet that. And that's where the expertise uh, comes in. So uh, Vera, we came out of a market where there was no contingencies. You had to waive your finance contingency or appraisal contingency, which means you might've been stuck paying $100,000 more for the property because the appraisal came in low. I mean, there was just, you had to do so much in order to uh, to get that home. Now in this market, are you able uh, for your buyers to be able to have contingencies in that offer? Yes. Now, again, we we cannot say everyone is exactly the same. Yes. Like you mentioned, some homes are underpriced. Some homes, even now, they get multiple offers. So each situation is different. But I would say the majority of people are able to get in contingencies. We are able to get in finance contingency. We are able to get in an inspection contingency. So at least finance contingency, I would say we've been able to put it in the contract almost 100% of the time since the interest rate started climbing. Inspection is a little bit different, and that is just because a lot of sellers are now doing what's called a pre-inspection. They are inspecting the house before they list it, and that really helps the buyers a lot of times because when they go in and look at the house, they kind of know what to look for. So um, there is different ways to work it, but I would say if you want to do your own inspection, which we always advise, we can definitely put it in a contract 90% of the time in the current market. Yeah. Yeah. That is uh, so great. And again, it's the negotiation uh, skill of your agent that's going to be able to maximize uh, what you can do for contingencies. So uh, where do you start if you want to buy a home? Vera. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I think we covered that a little bit. So I would say the first thing you do is you call Tina and you make sure that you look at the numbers, um, that you know what you're looking for and then decide, decide where you want to live. What is the most important to you? Um, I, if you have kids, I would say, are the schools important to you? If you have older parents, do you want to make sure that house doesn't have stairs? So there's a lot of things that each family is looking for. So I would say, make sure you make a list of crucial things that are important. Talk to Tina and then give me a call. And then we can decide together what's important to you, what's a must and what you can live without. Because at yeah. the end of the day, we all have a budget. I haven't worked, unfortunately, or fortunately with anyone who doesn't have a budget. Yeah. So when we work with the budget, there's pluses and minuses. So you always have to decide what's important to you, what's a must, and what's a good thing to have. Absolutely. A couple minutes left here with you, but I want to ask just a couple questions. Um, how many homes do you feel that you need to see before you can buy? Can you just rush in and buy uh, the first one? You know, price? honestly, every person is different. I've sold um, to clients who've seen three houses. I've sold to clients who've seen 50 homes. It just really depends on how picky you are and if you really know what you're looking for. Because if you've never owned a house, it might take you a little longer. Yes. If you know exactly what you're looking for, it can be very quickly. Okay. And then, um, so, well, we just answered literally how quickly can you get into home? I mean, literally you can get into home within 30 days if you get pre-approved and go out and find your home. And if you're working with me, you can literally get in a home in a couple of weeks because we can close in two weeks. So it's just putting all of that attention into there. So I, um, I, can I, can I, can I do just a little, yes, so please, what I can Sarah. tell you is again, when we're negotiating, if you are pre-approved with Tina and you can close in two weeks, there's a high possibility you can get a much better deal from the seller because that means for the seller, they'll get money quicker in their pockets. So they want to close as quickly as possible. And you're able to potentially save thousands of dollars by getting all of your stuff together before you start looking. Yeah. Thank you, Vera. So, so get the, all of that taken care of up front. So a um, couple minutes left. I want to just leave it for you. And, and what's the last thing that you want to leave uh, with the listeners? Well, again, I'd love to hear from you. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home this year, give me a call, even if it's, you know, 
it's months away, but you just want to talk to someone and understand the market, I'd love to talk to you. Um, I'd love to connect you with professionals. If you need a contractor, if you need someone um, to do a remodel on your house before you list it, or if you want to talk to me and do maybe a conference call with me and Tina to see what's more, um, you know, what we can get you for the house, how we can get you into the house and just give me a call. Let's start a conversation. Let's see if we can get you into a home in this 2023. Let's make it better than 2022. Yeah, I love that. Vera, thank you so much for everything that you're doing for our community with your expertise in real estate, both helping uh, buyers and sellers and transitioning into the next journey and season in life. And I appreciate you taking time out of your busy career uh, to share with my listeners here on 1150 AM KKNW. Thank you for having me. 